Hey there, I'm Tyler Lunsford, and you're watching a review of Will Size The Black Art Project. What is up, you people? My name is Tyler Lunsford, and welcome back to another Magic Trick review here on the channel. Now, if you're new here, then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel on my past reviews. Now, if you are new here, then welcome. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate it, and I do hope that you subscribe to the channel after watching this video because I've earned your subscription. Seriously, though, like you didn't have to spend five to ten minutes of your day with me, and I really do appreciate that you did. So, thank you. And if you don't know what I do here, I do a lot of magic-related videos. I do reviews. I do head-to-head -head reviews. I do top tens. I do giveaways. I do all sorts of stuff. I even have a live show that I do with other magicians where we just answer your questions. So thank you so much for being here. I actually bought this effect with my own money. So you are truly watching an unbiased magic trick review. And this was a video that was requested by one of my patrons on Patreon. So I strongly encourage you to go check out my Patreon because there you can get some really cool benefits and rewards and you can help support the channel in the process, which I really appreciate. So thank you to all my patrons. And if you're not a patron and you can't become one because you can't afford it, I totally understand that too. Thank you for watching and hopefully you'll stick around to the end. So thanks so much once again, and let's get right into this video of the Black Art Project right now. First off, you need to know what actually is the Black Art Project. Well, this is a two DVD disc set that you'll be getting that's been produced by Sans Mines and Will Sai. Will Sai owns Sans Mines, if you didn't know that. This is his company. So he's been putting out a lot of his stuff recently, which I have enjoyed designing Magic and now the Black Art Project, which might have come out in reverse, but I like both of them. Now, the Black Art Project, you'll be getting a comprehensive look at how to leverage this principle for your own magic. This is a one-of-a-kind video that explores these elusive secrets unlike ever before. Now, you'll learn everything you need to know about material selection, performing conditions, and different types of black art performances. You'll even get a close-up look at some of the fully automated CGI-like effects that Will and Sans Minds have developed using black art. With the Black Art Project, you'll be armed with everything you need to make so you can make black art your secret weapon of choice. Let's talk about what you'll be receiving if you decide to purchase the Black Art Project. We'll be getting a DVD, you'll actually be getting two, and in those cases, you get some sample black art material where we'll walk you through the different types of black art material there are, which each one is best for, and you'll also get the two DVDs, like I mentioned, that are about 86 minutes long in total. The first is 50 minutes and the second is 36 minutes. Now that you know what the Black Art Project is and what you receive, let's talk about some more questions you may have by starting out with a general overview of what you actually learn on these two DVDs. Now, with this, you'll be learning conditions. So where do you perform this? Lighting, all that type of stuff. Angles, how does that work? Now, when it comes to the angles question, I can't really tell you the angles for each trick because they are different. And with black art, your lighting is something that's important. You need to be aware of where you're at and how your lighting is going to look because of black art in general. If you don't know what that is, then you can look it up, but I'll give you a basic rundown here. Black art is essentially camouflage, and I don't want to go any more into the detail there because I don't want to reveal too much. You know, you're going to learn a lot about this black art principle on the DVD. You also learn about the three types of black art materials there are and which one is best for the environment that you'll be performing in. When it comes to lighting, how many people you have, the distance of the people, and all that stuff will goes into an in-depth detailed look at that. You do learn several different effects you can do with the black art principle. Now these are things that are basically just to help get you started. They're not any like routines or anything like that. They're pretty much standalone effects that you could use if you wanted to on social media or something like that or incorporate them into a larger routine. But standalone effects is what these are. They're not something you would just do out in the random. If you have a close up mat, you know, you're probably not just gonna do one trick that deals with black art. You're probably gonna do this in a whole routine. And if you're just doing the one trick, like I mentioned earlier, you're probably just gonna be doing it for social media. Is there any setup or DIY they have to do with the black art project well obviously because this is something that's teaching you about black art they're not giving you any effects ready to go right out of the package you do have to construct it all yourself and you will have to go out and buy the black art material that best supports your type of environment that you're performing in are there any negatives with the Black Art Project? I will say one thing is the price. It's a little pricey. It's $80 and it probably should have been a little cheaper than that, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Another thing is I don't really understand why this is a two DVD disc set. All they could have done is really all they had to do is put in a one DVD. I guess they wanted to advertise it as a two DVD disc set to make you think you got more, but for 86 minutes, so it's just over an hour. It's almost an hour and a half actually. With that, you can fit that on one DVD. I've seen it done before. And the materials they included, they probably could have fit in one DVD case. And if they couldn't, they could have just put it in one large DVD case. So I don't understand why it's two DVDs. Wish it just would have been one for the sake of just storage, I guess. But I guess it is what it is. 
that's not a major negative or anything, but it's something I did want to mention. Another negative I'll say is a lot of it is actually focused on the tricks themselves and learning different ways to apply it, which is nice, but not much of it is actually Will Sai sitting down and just walking you through black art principles. It's more examples, which I don't mind, but I just want to throw that out there. What are the positives when it comes to the Black Art Project? I absolutely love how many examples they give for this, and they give different examples for different environments. So they give some close-up examples, some stage examples, stuff like that, and like I said, there's a good decent handful of them. I don't want to give an exact number because I didn't actually count them out, but there's probably anywhere from 5 to 12 on there, somewhere in between there. I'd say probably around 10, which I really like. There's a lot of different things on there and a lot of cool, unique principles that I never really thought about, and I'm glad my eyes are now opened up to them. What's this retail ask? Well, it currently retails us 80 US dollars, and is that a fair price? That's a little pricey, I think. I mean, you are learning a lot, but like I said earlier, it is a lot of examples. It's not necessarily a lot of just information about black art, which I do appreciate, but with that said, I think it probably should have went for more like $65. I don't want to discount the knowledge that's in this DVD or these two DVDs, but I do think $80 is a lot to pay. I'd still pay $80 for it but I would have liked it if it was 65. I think that would have been a more fair price. What would I give this out of 10? I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. The reason it's getting docked the two points is because of the price, and also they gave me two DVDs when they just could have fit it into one, which isn't the biggest issue, but it is something that I wanted to critique. And another thing is, I wish there'd have been more information about Black Art itself and not just examples, but I am happy with how much information is on there because there is a good bit. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. And if you feel like the Black Art Project is for you, there is a link to where you can purchase it in the description down below. Now also in the description is a link to my Instagram page. There you can follow me on Instagram at Magic. There I post all sorts of behind the scenes, Q&As, sneak peeks, and if you really do have any questions about things I review, I don't mind answering them. So definitely reach out and I will be happy to answer your question. And I'd like to thank all my patrons for being a patron. Thank you so much for trusting me to review magic and just trusting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And especially thank you to Thanasis Tamaris. He is the reason that this video went up because he is a patron where he gets to choose a trick that I review each month. So thank you so much to him and thank you to everybody else. Now, if you'd like to become a patron, then definitely check out my Patreon. The link is the top link in the description down below. Now, once again, if you can't do it, I totally understand, but I just would be appreciative if you would. So thanks for that. And thanks once again for sticking around. Hopefully I'll see you in another review I post sometime soon. See ya.